Well, hello, this is the final boss, and this is Gunsmith Simulator Prologue. Legal characters. I always knew I was a rebel. <laughs> it contains illegal characters. Your grandpa, Larry, is an adept gunsmith. You can gain more skills by doing his errands. Okay. So this game was sent by uh, the developers through Keymailer. The art's really nice. Whoa, whoa, what a red fox. Mail. Working on guns is a major practical skill. Go to contracts. All right, slightly broken peacemaker, accept. Okay. It said $1. Oh, new job is on our radar, okay. Gunsmith. Bid. Um, okay. Okay, exit. I do. You don't have any weapons in the safe. Alright. Oh, whoops. Okay. Take out. I right click, okay. <clears throat> Look here to work in woodworking. You can create your own custom wooden parts for weapons to do this out of work. Okay, make some custom parts. Oh, wow. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> wow, well, there's a lot to this game. Um, but there's not too much tutorialization, uh, except for can't work here without a gun. I thought I just got a gun. Yes, work on slightly broken peacemaker. All right. Dang, whoever did all the modeling on this must have been. Okay, okay, okay. What clip size? How do my weapon is in quite poor condition? I did not use it for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't have time to fix it and believe it's better to ask someone like it's more experience to me. The gun has some damaged parts and is quite dirty overall. Thank you for advance for fixing it. Repair. Okay. So. Where do I go here? This, there's, there, there's options and information. There are, I think. So, not a great conjunction there. So yeah, this definitely is giving me some localized vibes, um, or at least just some some issues here and there with with grammar. You can track your progress in this window. Hover cursor to highlight. Click to the click on part to look at it. Part information is displayed in this window. Man, that's a lot of upfront information. I, I wish the tutorial, forget key bindings are provided down here. If you can't, you can leave it any moment or finish work. Okay, so I, I just wanna hold or remove. Can I turn it? Okay. Okay. And I feel like this would be a great way for someone to learn about how all this stuff works. You know, and like, you know, like kind of like a virtual practice simulator for these types of things. You know, okay, you gotta do these screws. I mean, that's amazing that they put this much work into it. It's kind of insane how detailed this is. I mean, this isn't like, you know, to my knowledge, you know, this isn't like a high, um, you know, a big genre, right? Okay, so then I got my barrels out here. Do I need to take these apart anymore? No. Okay, hold on. I see. I mean, 
I, I guess I'm kind of learning a little bit about what I'm doing, but I still can't say that I have a great sense of what exactly I am doing. Okay. All right. Is it... I feel like I still have to disassemble something here. Right? Assemble the part. Okay, yeah. Base pin to begin the fixing process. Left six. So there's six left. Good, good. Dirty. Can be cleaned with a rag. Can I use the rag? Manipulate horizontal. All right. Oh, whoa. Can I clean this? Where's my rag? Oh, that's way nice. Manipulate was W S. Okay, zoom. Well, zoom is crazy. Wow, it just zooms right. Oh my gosh. That's camera controls are a little wonky, but hint left control. All right, so there's still some pieces still installed here. Okay. That was not the clearest. Got it. So there's the cleaning rod. I think. Holder move. It seems like the screws here, right? It's weird. I thought I was clicking on it, but ejector spring, ejector rod head. Oh wow! I have to take the spring off this thing too. Okay. Grip pin. We've done it. Woo! Disassembly complete. Broken. It is beyond repair and has to be scrapped. Um, dirty. Cleaning with the rag. Good. Okay. Can I can be cleaned with the rag? There is the rag. I wanna I wanna get wanna put the rag on it. <laughs> I wanna attack this with the rag. Alright, let's let's put it back here. Um Let's see, maybe I have to like grab the rag first. We leave the table. Okay, so we're gonna leave for now. Some parts are dirty. Clean it with rag. Ah, uh, I'm really trying to clean it with rag. I need to get some replacement parts. I see off the internets. Wow, 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 metal. Man, I I know this was built in Unity because it said that it was built in Unity. Man, it looks like Unreal. It looks so nice. I will say, the graphical fidelity on this thing is ridiculous. Okay, so I have to go to the cleaning table. Confirm. Click to pick up cleaning rag. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my. This is like the power wash simulator. And I'm sure there's a Markiplier out there who would be like all about this, right? We did it, one of five. Two of five. Three of five, let's go. I'm a machine, I'm a cleaning deity. Cleaning deity, yeah, 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 yeah. Something is like, something is making sounds when I'm cleaning things. All right, leave the table. Uh, okay, it needs dirty parts. So I got my clean parts. I probably need to go over here to replace my parts, huh? Gunsmith services, no, 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 back. Stock and barrel. 
All right, so I got to remember what I need to fix. Oh, yeah, here we go. There it goes. Colt PM shopping list. Backstrap for Colt Pink. Base pin for Colt Pete Maker. Ejector rod. Ejector rod for Colt Peacemaker. Right grip for Colt Peacemaker. Trigger for Colt Peacemaker. Where is it? Trigger. H2. Trigger for Colt Peacemaker. All right. Bah. Oh, whoa, whoa, back to shop. Wait, why is the base pin part not right? Base pin part. Oh. Bah. I only have some money left. All right, so we did it. Back to shop. I got the base pin and the base pin part mixed up. Oh wow, that came quick. Parts, new parts in place on the assembly table. Go! <laughs> Alright! Why is he yelling at me? Go! Alright. This little nugget. All right, procurement complete. Pick up oiling rag. Oh, I can finally pick up this rag. Oil to work properly, backstrap. All right, I do like that they have color indicators. That's really nice. Oh, I can move the use middle mouse to move around. That's nice. Yeah, I find that it's much easier to scroll around with middle mouse. Maiden's complete. Let's assemble your gun. Wish I was on the band of whoever made this. Bow, bow, bow. Okay. All right, we're getting this put back together. So yeah, while I do this, I will go ahead and give some thoughts in the game. So yeah, I mean. A few grammatical issues, a few little textual things, but I mean, if you're playing this game and you're worried about the grammar, um, you might be playing the wrong game. But yeah, overall, I think this is a project that delivers on what it intends to do. I think the graphical fidelity is bonkers. It looks, it looks so great. Um, sometimes the camera gets a little wonky. Like if I zoom in to a certain point, it like snaps me up. Um, I, I wish that middle mouse button was an easier way to scroll around. I know like a lot of, you know, that, that's like very common in design software, right? Where, or on graph systems where you can use your middle mouse button to kind of drag and pen the camera. So the fact that that's not super possible here is a little bit of, um, it's a little bit of a bummer. I feel like, um, the controls probably are maybe like a B plus, right? Where I think there is still some ways to make these controls really sing. Um, but I mean, overall, you know, it, it's doing its purpose, it's serving its purpose, right? So I think there's not too much to, uh, complain about there by any stretch. This. Look at that. Beautiful. We 
done it. Finished work. Alright, I'm gonna put it in my box. Right? Right? Am I doing that wrong? Uh, I'm gonna ship it to the... Test the gun, you need to put it in your car's trunk. Okay. Alright, alright. Here's my car. There's my car. I have a very secure place for it. It's actually very important. Finish with all the work. Guns. Oh, no, I gotta do more jobs online. Oh, I wanted to try out the shooting range, but I guess that is what it is. But overall, really cool project. The art is, is ridiculously nice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if these games are for me particularly, but I know, um, you know... I've laughed as I've watched, you know, Markiplier and certain streamers play these cleaning games where, you know, slowly polishing up and assembling and disassembling things is very, very satisfying, right? So, while I may not be part of that target audience, that target audience exists, and, um, yeah, I wish you the very best in finding it. But overall, cool project. Graphics, amazing. Um, controls probably could use a little bit more love. Uh, and then obviously, just take another look at the grammar. It's not the end of the world. Uh, and the tutorialization, a little clunky. I, I really had to try to figure out what to do, as, as you guys probably saw in the beginning. Um, so I do think that taking another look at that tutorial, um, giving a little bit more visual indicators outside of like just lots of text boxes um, is a good way to go, right? And there's that GDC talk, and I need to do this in my own tutorials, right? Which is... If it's over seven words, um, the person's probably not going to read it. So how do you get all those tutorial bits under seven words? Uh, anyways, um, great job. Excited to see what you continue to do on this game. And see you soon. Bye-bye.